If you've ever wondered if God really loves all people, you might consider the story of Paul in the book of Acts, where the very beginning of, of Acts chapter 9 says this about Saul. It says, Saul still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord went to the high priest and he was going to, <laughs> to stir trouble, to find letters so that he could go anywhere he wanted and attack the Christians. And then 30 verses later, that's all it took, 30 verses later, the very end of the account with Paul, of Saul, it says this, because of Saul's conversion. So the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was being built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. This is a time when the church was being attacked by one individual that now all Christians hated. But then at the end of 30 verses, God had entered in, he had interceded and he had converted the man who was Paul. If anyone you think is too far from the Lord, you would have seen Paul or Saul in that place. He was an enemy, an attacker of the Christian church. But at the end of this account, what we see is that God is the one who converts the heart. And in fact, he used Christians like you and me in the midst of that conversion story, where they acted graciously and out of fear and trembling, but with trust in the Lord. And God used them to be a part of the story of Paul's conversion. He can do that very same thing today, but what it takes is Christians like you and me simply trusting the Lord in the midst of attack and suffering. What seems like today suffering and persecution against the church can actually be used by God for good things, for his glory. And he can use people like you and me as we trust the Lord and walk with him to be used in conversion stories like Paul's. There are many of those people today who are living near you that you can be a part of the story of their conversion. I don't know where you're going to enter into their story, but your role and my role is to be simply following the Lord and speaking his words from the gospel. And so what we know is that our call is to know the Bible and to love God and to love our neighbors. And what we do on Marco Island is to bring hope to people with the truth of Jesus. And what we do is we worship him here on Sundays at 1030 in the morning. And we're gathered together, but then we scatter all over the place, both online and on the island. And we're also on mission. We're right here bringing hope to those folks that we know in our own lives with the truth of Jesus. It's an exciting thing to be a part of that, not just here, but around the world. And so would you connect with us? Would you join us? Would you be a part of this work right here at Marco Presbyterian Church?